The 61st annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament has officially ended. WNCT's Camilla Barco takes us along for the ride to see what it takes to catch a blue marlin. June 15, 2019, Joey Rivenbark and his mates set out to sea on the last day of the 61st Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. On board Starflight, Rivenbark, angler Brian Cornegy, hey. and Captain Joey Johnson were on a quest to catch the biggest blue marlin. Some people have fished this tournament for years and never have caught one. The biggest fish in the ocean, they put up a great fight and they're very hard to find. 60 miles offshore, their search begins. We have uh, two dredge reels. We've got the rods, we've got the lures, and, and then we'll have natural dead bait on our teasers. They do not have any hooks in them. Once set up, Riven Bark and his mates cover as much fishing ground as possible. You're looking for a lot of different sea conditions, water temperature, bait, uh, bottom structure. But until a fish bites on a hook, it's a waiting game. Each fishing day, the team has six hours to catch a blue marlin, a white marlin, a dolphin, tuna, or a wahoo. A lot of it is communicating with the captain and the mate and keep, keeping the line tight. But once the clock strikes 2 p.m., the search is over. Starflight was not lucky on Saturday. Well, it, it gets a little discouraging, but that's, that's part of fishing, you know. But they did win the daily release on Wednesday with a blue marlin. We've got a great crowd we fish with, good crew, and we were lucky enough to find one this year and win some money out of it. An experience that is more than just deep sea fishing. So overall, we had a great week. You keep on going, and you know you'll get you'll get them eventually. Aboard Starflight, Camila Barco, nine on your side.